Hey, hey, what's going on? This is Sunshine. And E. All right. Hey, everybody, we're back again. More mm -hmm. impressions, more actors doing impressions mm -hmm. of actors. Right, right. You know, this one is um, Eddie Murphy does does Mike Tyson, uh, Tracy Morgan, Michael Jackson, and Sammy Davis. Wow, yeah, it's kind of going back, but, you know, there's a lot of people that did them years ago. But, um, yeah, we're going to get started with this. We're just going to kind of kind of kick off into it. But be, uh, if you watch it and you finish watching this, you want to see something a little different or something more just go down to the description where it says see more and we uh you can um check out a few links we put down in there but we're gonna get started with eddie murphy doing these impressions i don't think he was known for some impressions but actually he did a, he did quite a few he did but they wasn't intense he didn't spend a lot of time just during the course of his his um act that he did it like hey he did elvis did mr t so he did a few people. I actually seen one interview he did where he imitated his brother Charlie Murphy. Charlie Murphy, rest in peace. But um, and he did a great job. It's funny. So he he does have the ability to do it. But um, we're gonna check him out. I think this is a thing where he, I don't know. We'll go check it out first. I'm, I'm gonna see. But this is uh, Eddie Murphy doing some impressions. Uh, before we get started, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share, comment below. So come on, let's go. Growing up, he said, "You, my my three favorite was you, Bruce Lee, and Evil Knievel." It's like, wow! <laughs> I look up to you, Evil Knievel, and Bruce Lee. Did you see Mike Tyson's Broadway? No, I did not. It was shocking. I good. heard it was shockingly good. <laughs> he is my aesthetic role model. No robe, hole in the towel, no stool, no logos on the shorts, or well, nothing for no socks. Just coming out to yeah. and the all-time best ring interest music. He would come out to one note. Really? One ominous note. There's no song playing. It's like a do. For him to even come up with that, because you're the one that says, I want my music to be. For him to go, just give me one solid, <laughs> one solid note. <laughs> and that shit would make you feel like something, a monster was coming in the room. It was. Boom. I got to meet people like Sammy Davis and that kind of shit, you know. They were still around. What was he like? Just like you would expect him to be. Cool. Ju He's a hep cat, just, right? Just like he is all the time. You know what I realized about Sammy? That was Coke. The whole thing with the mouth like this. <laughs> it was? Think about it. He's it, That whole era is cocaine. I don't know anything about drugs. And Sammy is like this with that cocaine mouth. <laughs> Man, and the whole, and the way he would laugh and hug and all that. He was totally coked up. That was all <laughs> cocaine, man. That was a cocaine thing. Sammy told me he worshiped the devil. We were in uh, Dan Tanner's on that restaurant with all the pictures up. Sammy was like, you know, Satan is as powerful as God. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He says, why do you think there's so much anger in the world and uh, killing and murder and uh, the Satan? And he saw my reaction to it, and he kind of lightened up on it. But he, and he was like, the Dan Tanner's is dark, and it's the, the candles on the table, and Sammy's face over the candle. You know, Satan is as powerful as God. And Michael Jackson had his chimps. When I, you would go to his house, that Bubbles chimp, when he got a certain age, yeah. you couldn't f with Bubbles. He no. had Bubbles in the cage. No, I was like, like, don't go near him. <laughs> <laughs> don't go over there, Eddie. Uh, did you yeah, go to his house? Yeah, a few times. And the chimp would be ah, going crazy. Is that Bubble? They said, yes, don't go near the cage. <laughs> <laughs> really, I thought Bubbles was chimp. Mm -hmm, don't go over there. <laughs> <laughs> you realize your memory is amazing. I have a really good memory. You remember the name of the Chinese restaurant gig we did in Jersey? The Jade Fountain. The Jade Fountain. That's crazy. The Jade Fountain. You remember that place? And the yeah, vaguely, And the vaguely. owner would say, hey, let me put your picture up here. I'll give you exposure. Let me give you one of your pictures. You get a lot of exposure. Exposure in the lounge of the Jade Fountain. <laughs> You know, it's funny watching this. This is not necessarily really for people watching. It's really for you, but like this, I, already, you know, we got we we travel from time to time. We got a couple couple people that we travel with from time to time. And there's a couple that travels with, and there's one of our partners, and uh, he looks like Eddie Murphy, man. And more and more, I look at, I uh, keep thinking about him, but uh, his 
beard. I mean, his mustache isn't as thick as that, but they, man, they could go as brothers. I mean, he almost looked more like his brother than Charlie looked like him. And uh, but, but in towards the end, when he was talking to the table, I don't know why, but he put me in mind, especially when he asked about the. Uh, you remember the restaurant? And he was mentioning remember your brother a little bit the way he was talking. I don't know why. I was just, I was just me. But I mean, in his acting, not stand up, but his acting puts us in mind, puts me in mind of our youngest son. Oh, okay. You know, because some of their his facial expressions are mm. just like him. Like, Whoa! Oh, okay. And I never saw it until he was in high school because he was in theater, mm -hmm. and people used to say that he looked like him. Oh, did you? And right, and really? then when he yeah. came and they told me, and I was like, "No, yeah, you do." <laughs> I yeah. saw it as soon as they said it. I started seeing it more and more. Right, right, yep. right. Mm -hmm. right, right. But uh, yeah, that was Eddie doing some of his impressions. They wouldn't really long drawn out and he just kind of tapped on them but I think they just came up in during the conversation so it wasn't like he was really but he still did an okay job but I think once he really put his foot down into uh, an impression he do well I've seen him on other uh, interviews where he really you know but uh, I tell you the best person to do Sammy Davis is the best and I think and I think there was supposed to be an, uh, uh, a movie on Sammy Davis life and this person was supposed to do him and then I don't know if it fell through. It's all some big rigmarole, but I think he would do an excellent job because he has that staying power, that staying the character, and constantly do it. Has that energy to do it. It's Tommy Moore, Tommy Davidson. He would do it because he did it on Living Color. Yeah, he did. He did it a couple yeah, times. He, thing. he really does good. it. He Same would do it good, and he's one one that can get into a character and stay, and just be relentless with it. So I I think he would do. You know, if you know, wow. I, I just think they need to get because you have Ray with um um. With Jamie Foxx, you have uh, Will Smith with the Ali. You have some they they really captured the part, the voice, everything. And I think Tommy he Davidson does, would do the it. same thing with Sammy Davis. I think he would. And that'd be I, that would be one of the biggest movies because I think with the whole Frank Sinatra, the Rat Pack, and then you 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 also throw in Vegas. And that, I think just everybody would be interested in that movie at any age or any, because you know, just the thing of Vegas, you know, you had an old Vegas and now it's a newer Vegas. I think that that would really do well right now. So I don't know, you know, if I'm talking to the people, I'm talking to Tommy. I think Tommy's down for it. I think he mentioned he's down for it, but I don't know what the... And the, and, and the thing about Tommy Davidson, if you look, he's a comedian, but he's he's got that physical thing about it. He does a... If you really look at his history, he's a lot more than what you would think of him in, like, Living Colors. But he, uh, that was the thing about Sammy. Sammy was really multi-talented, could sing, could dance, all that stuff. So he was really multi-talented in what he did, and that's, and that's why I think it would be a great move. And I think he could, Tommy Davidson could really pull that off. So, and so, but... That was Eddie Murphy doing a bunch of impressions uh, with, of course, Jerry Steinfeld and uh, in this nice, nice convertible. I guess they were doing it for sound because I watched it at one part where he let the window up. I was like, you got a convertible. What's the, mm -hmm. what's the letting up the window? I think it's probably so you can it's hear so better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. But that was uh, Eddie Murphy and uh, Jerry Steinfeld. So y'all let us know what you think about it. We're going to get out of here. But before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share comment below and I do believe that's it that's it thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me